here's a another thing came up through through Twitter. It's a, a conference in Amsterdam. The the hashtag is it, all in all in capitals, E A S S T four S, twenty twenty four. I'm not. I'm really not sure what it what where what all those letters stand for, but it's uh, it's very interesting. It, it, but it's all it's in code. I would say. I think it's a, an academic look at the current tech scene, including ed tech. Um, so it's about the assetization of knowledge and the knowledge of financial capitalism, avoiding techno solutionism. And I think techno solutionism is the idea that te- there's all this technology which is looking for a, a case to why it should be adopted um, I would say the fact there's, there's uh, quite a lot of student debt is is an issue if there's a solution to that if, if um, things could be cheaper that might might be an, a valid argument but what 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 I really want to get at is acetize, acetization I think I think the critique is as, uh, that data data is seen as as an asset, and there's a lot of ed tech which depends on um, turning that data into an asset, and it's the companies that tend to um, make make a, a benefit out of that rather than the universities, um, and. I guess, I guess that might might be true, but it it it, it depends really how in, involved the universities want to get into those sorts of areas. But anyway, that, that that's not really what I'm what I'm getting at. What I'd like to get at is assetization of buildings, um, for example, student accommodation, and the way that universities are, seem to be quite happy with that. Um, some of the same ideas that and the critique aspect of assetization um, doesn't seem to be applied to real estate and I, I mentioned that because um, well it came to my mind because um, St. Luke's site about half of it is going to be demolished apparently and rebuilt uh, at slightly higher levels and um, I, I just wonder if that's well I'm obviously it, they're, they're going to they're going to expand the um, medical part, which make, makes a lot of sense, um, given its closeness to to the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital. But the education bit is still there, so they they could invest in um, online education instead. But uh, what's happening with that? I'm sure something is happening with that, but it's it, I, I don't know what it is. Um, that would be that would be interesting, uh, but the the main thing I'm asking is if there's if there is an academic theory of assetization as applied to buildings, especially student accommodation, um, how is that regarded in financial terms, and is there a critique of that? So uh, anyway, I'm ra- I, Chris. It's, Chris still hasn't arrived. He hasn't answered the phone. I hope he's all right. I hope the, I hope the bus hasn't skidded on. The snow wasn't settling when I came in. Phonic FM doesn't do weather forecasts. We just observe that people aren't turning up, and we guess there's something going on out there. Um, anyway, going, going, go, I'm going to go back to music via these CDs. I'm still working through the CDs that Exeter Central Library. Um, they didn't give all of them away they tried to sell them but they were giving them away towards the end oh no this is from Cumbria sorry this is Cumbria Libraries Kendall gave gave. well they sold off um, Ian Levine but it still sort of fits into my idea that th- this is an archive of resources Calling it, I'm using the word resources now because I did speak to a librarian and um you can't use the word artifact about a CD, apparently. So it's a resource. Ian Levine presents Northern Soul Memories, 
volumes three and four and this is track four the tramps <laughs> <laughs> 